Hello everyone, today I am going to be playing a game of Pixel Glory Light and Shadow, the Shadow version, solo. I have played this game a few times already with some other people, so I have not played this solo yet, it's my first time playing it solo, but that's what I do on this channel is play a lot of solo stuff, so that's what we're going to do here. But I'm going to talk a little bit about how the solo game is a little somewhat different from the regular game, and how it's the same as well. It's a very cool dungeon crawler game where you're trying to um, defeat monsters, and in this game, the solo game, you're trying to defeat the whole dungeon and the dungeon uh, lord, which is the big bad monster at the end. In the regular version of the game, you're going to have whoever has the most points from play, uh, monsters that they do the killing blow on, you're going to get the card for it, and those are the points. So that's three points for this card, which in the regular game is three points as well, but it's a different, slightly different way that the game works. But what happens is you're trying to do spells because it's a deck builder. Play the spells, do the damage, and be the killing blow on one of the monsters. You take the monster, you get the victory points at the end of the game for them. And even if you die, your glory lives on. So if you have the most points, even if you died, you win. The two ways the games can end, um, I think both in the solo and in the regular game, is you defeat the dungeon lord or all players are dead. If you defeat the dungeon lord and all players are still alive at the end of the game, um, you get a secret pack to open, which I'm not going to show you anything in there, but it's really cool. It's really worth it. It's very, very fun. So, and this is the shadow version. There's also, in the light version of the game, a light version. And there is a second one that is a mystery. And if you want to know more about that, just do some Google research on the game. I'm not going to spoil anything here. Just that you have two packs in each game, both shadow in the shadow box and both light in the light box. And the idea, just sort of a spoiler alert here, is the idea is to trade with people that bought the other version. So keep that in mind. So why do you have two packs? Maybe there's a reason. Anyway, if you do that, then you get to open that. It's just going to change the game up. It's going to be cool. There's, just just do it. Just, just try to win it and do that. But how does the game actually play? How does it work? Well, first off, you have a little dial, and that's your person. You have health to start with, and you have combo points, which you can get, and I'll tell you about that in a second. I'm starting with the casual health because I want to just show you more of the game. So I have 14, but then you have 12 in a regular game, and I think it is, uh, yeah, dep well, depending on how many players, um, 14, 12, and 8, or 15, 13, and 9. And obviously, it even tells you you can change it around if you want, <clears throat> Excuse me, depending on you know what your skill level is or how much fun you're having and what you want to do. But that's sort of the, the difficulty level. That's how it does that. But the game works pretty simply in two phases. The town phase, which is the beginning of the game, and I'm putting him on the bottom. And in the solo game, you play against all the monsters, and you're trying to defeat all of them. That's how you win the solo or the co-op version. The regular version, it's 14 or 15 uh, bad guys, and then the bottom guy is the uh, monster you have to defeat at the end. And you're trying to win that way. But the way the town works, the town's pretty cool. The town normally works... You have auction cards. Everybody has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in coins. And you're gonna have some cards from the regular spell deck, visible. You're gonna bid on what, secretly bid, face down bid, what you think it's worth to pay for. Whoever has the highest number that they played, or if it's tied, whoever has the tiebreaker staff or sitting to the left of them. Tiebreaker staff's kinda cool, it's just sort of like a tiebreaker and always swap his hands each round. Anyway, I won't go too deep into that. But if you played a three, someone else played a three, if you had a tiebreaker, you would get you would get first. And what happens is you're drafting those cards. So you're basically going to look at the cards, decide how much you think it's worth to be the first person to draft from those cards, and whoever has the highest number gets to pick first from the cards. In the solo version, it's not that way. It's a little different. But I want to tell you that this, that's how that works. So these auction cards aren't used in the solo or the cop version. But... That is a really cool way to do it. Everybody has the same cards that they're using. You're trying not to duplicate because unless you have a tiebreaker, it doesn't help. So I'm just going to take those off the game board because we're not using them. But in the solo version, instead of getting um, all of them drafted, which you would basically get nine of these cards at the end of the regular game. And this, you're also going to get nine cards. But you're going to start with three randomly dealt cards. So I'm just going to get three cards. So three cards are just going to be mine no matter what. These are my starting three cards. When you get cards from the town, and any time that you get the town, you also take the basic cards that it says at the bottom. So what I've, if I, you know, had, had picked this one as my card, I would get the cook card and it would go my discard pile for the whole game, like for the game phase. But I wouldn't get any any basic attack fire cards. But with the flame card, 
I would get two. So I literally take from the pile two basic attack fire cards. So I have those. I'm going to have the cook. I'm going to go through the cards before too long. But I, and I also get a light card for him. So these three cards that I got, it's very simple. The cards tell you what they do. Um, player may discard a card. If they do, heal that player one health. So if I discard a card, I can heal one health. I can't do more than that. I can only do it once. That's what the cook does. Basically, I cook some food and I eat it and I get a health back, which is going to be nice in this solo version of the game. We also have another card here. It just says deal two, deal two damage. You deal two damage to one one card, one monster. Sometimes they have deal two damage, deal two damage, deal two damage. Then you can do those two different, you know, the three different damages to different ones. But if it has a sentence, then you do it like that. Or if you don't want to do this, you can do this if you meet the synergy um, requirement. In this case, I would have had to have played on my turn two other um, fire cards, red cards, before I play the flame card. And if I did, then I could choose to use the deal four damage instead. So that's a reason why it comes with some of these cards too, because it helps build your deck with some of those synergy cards. I also have a, a light card here, which is guide. Uh, draw two cards, put a card in your hand on top of your deck. So basically I draw two cards and I take one of the cards in my hand back on top of the deck. I also got a basic um, light basic attack. So that's what I have starting with. So I have two fire cards, two basic fire cards, a light card, and one light, light basic card. Now what happens for the rest of the six cards that I want to get? Because I'm always going to only get nine of these cards. In the solo version, you literally just pick two up and then decide out of the two which one you want. So do I want a shadow card? Discard a card if you do deal three damage or hibernate. Remove a basic attack spell in your hand from the game. If you do, choose one. Deal four damage or heal each player with four, one health. Um... I might do that to kind of be able to make my deck a little smaller, but I get four starting there. This one, other players discard card. Well, that doesn't really help me because I'm not playing with other players. Um, so let's do this one. So I'm not going to take that. I'm going to take this one, and I get four Earth basic attack cards. So that's my first of my six. So I've got five more to go. I'm doing this quickly because I want to get into the gameplay, but this is a lot of the gameplay as well. You may remove this card from the game. If you do flip a monster face down until the next turn, it has no ability, well face down, but keeps its current health. So it wouldn't be able to do anything to me the turn um, for that turn. This one is draw a card or draw three cards if I have a bunch of blue cards. I'm going to take this one because um, it lets me draw a card, so it's not really putting anything in my way um, as far as the game goes. So now I have four more cards I get to get. I have a flame blah, which is deal four damage or deal eight damage. I have plant form. Draw a card. Put up to three basic attack spells from your discard on top of your deck. That's pretty cool because I could kind of put some stuff there, but this one's pretty neat because I get a bunch more flames, which is what I was doing earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one and try a strategy with going kind of a lot of synergy. So let's do that. I don't know if that's the right call. We'll find out at one point during the game if I lose or not. So by that philosophy, I'll probably want to take the Spark card. Let's see what the Madness card is. You may play Madness when Madness is discarded in your turn. Reveal cards from your basic deck until you have a non-basic spell or run out of cards in your deck. Play that non-basic spell and discard all the cards revealed. Yeah, I'm going to take the Spark card, which is another red basic attack. So how many cards have I taken? That's one. The so Spark is one. Shower is two. Hyrule is three. Um, Flame, four, five, and six. So I have three more to go. And I will double check that before we start the game. I have the right amount. Drain. Deal two damage to each monster. Heal one player. Each player one health if Drain defeated a monster. Or deal three damage. Deal one damage. Deal four, two, and one. Um, I think I'm going to do that one because that's going to allow me to heal, which I think is going to be important. So that should be two more to go at this point. I have Burn. Remove a basic attack spell in your hand from the game. If you do, draw a card, deal one damage. Remove a non-basic spell attack card from your from in your hand or discard pile from the game. Or draw a card, deal three damage. Or draw. I think I'm going to go with this one because I don't want to clog my deck up with light cards at this point because I've got a lot of uh, flame cards. Let's see if I get one more. So let's let's just double check. One, two, uh, three. I know I'm doing this kind of weird way, but because I'm doing it one-handed, so four. Five, six, seven, eight. So yes, I have one more to go. Flame blah, or uh, excuse me, flood blah, or flood. So either either one of those. Probably gonna take flood. That's a lot of damage that I can do, but that's a lot of cards adding to my deck as well. 
I think I'm going to take that one. So it only has two um, water cards. So I'm going to put the uh, camera down real quick. You're going to look at the, uh, the box for the game a little bit while I do some shuffling of my deck. So basically I take all the cards from the deck that I just built and shuffle them all together. That is going to be my deck for the game. So I have, this is a deck builder and I've just built my deck. That is the deck building portion of the game. The next part is the uh, dungeon crawling portion of the game, which I'll talk about in just a second. But I'm going to shuffle these cards and you're always going to draw four cards. So you draw four cards each time you do a new turn. On your turn, you're going to try to defeat the monsters. The monsters are going to be three monsters face up in front of you, in front of the uh, monster deck. I can choose however I want to do my damage to the monsters. They'll have different powers, have different abilities. They might be better to attack one rather than the other. But if I don't kill any of them, if I kill no monsters on my turn, I take two damage and get one combo point. That's why there's a combo point um, tracker on here. The combo points can be spent in groupings of three. So if I spend three combo points, I can immediately kill any monster on, in the game, except for the Dungeon Lord, or I can draw four cards. That's pretty cool. So not killing anything, I take two damage, but I get a combo point, which I do that three times, and I can have combo point and do that. I also, if I'm able to defeat two monsters on my turn, I actually get to heal a, vic uh, heal a point, so I get to get one health back. So that's something to keep in mind too. I want to maybe try to group them together to kill two at the same time, to heal when I do that, etc. I've already shuffled the monsters, so I'm going to put three monsters out, and I'll just put them out, and I'll show them to you in a second. And I'm going to go ahead and put their health on them. The health is cubes and hearts. The hearts are five, and the cubes are one. So let's just get that placed before I turn the camera back around. And again, I have 14 health. Now, something I haven't talked about is the elemental bonus damage. When you do damage, each damage you do, each group of damage, so if I, like if I have a card that says deal two damage, if I did fire damage to an earth bad guy, I get one more damage added to that. If I have a card that says do two damage, deal two damage, deal two damage, then I would get three, three, and three, because each of those times it says deal blank damage, you add one to it. Um, so that's important to know. That's for every card. So um, that's pretty awesome. And that's the way they break down. Fire hurts earth more, earth hurts water more, water hurts fire more, light hurts shadow, and shadow hurts light. Um, there's also some tips here. You may keep one card in your reserve. Now, you have four cards, but I can always choose to keep on those cards for the next round or next, current, next round in the future. But if I do that, I don't get to spend it that turn. So basically, it's just something in my reserve. If I feel like it's going to be better as a, as a synergy or whatever, I'll hold on to it. Like I just said, combo points, if you don't kill a monster, you get that back. If you don't defeat a monster, um, um, if you do get two damage. Other players, which is only me again, uh, would get one damage if you don't kill a monster. So that's a way to hurt your, your, your uh, opponents, is if you're playing the game um, and not defeating stuff, then they're going to take a damage just like you are, but you're taking two and they're taking one. So I'm going to draw my four cards. This is what I have. The bad guys out here are an Earth um, monster, which is the Mungus. The Mungus. Um, looks kind of angry, but also very sad. He's got 12 health, and in the regular game, he's going to be worth two victory points. Um, it even says, all I mean, literally every card in the game that has flavor text has different flavor text. Even to the auction cards have different flavor text from each other. And this one says, not worth the trip. You got Smolder Hog, who's 15, and he's got some more flavor text there. Fire Wizards, Coke, Spell, Gone Wrong. Then we have Game Genie. Game Genie only has seven health, but if you attack him, remove any spell that deals damage to Game Genie from the game. So every time I deal damage to him, the card that I use is gone forever. So I gotta keep that in mind, and maybe I wanna use some basic attacks and not special cards, because I don't wanna lose those cards from the game. So what we got in our hand right now is we've got a regular fire basic attack. We have a drain, which is deal two damage to each monster, heal each player, one health if drain defeats a monster. Now the problem here is deal two damage to each monster has to happen because I have to play my card, so that means he's going to take the damage from that, and I'm going to then lose this card for good. But I could put it in my reserve so I don't have to lose that until he's off the table so I don't lose him. So that's something I probably will end up doing. I have deal two damage, and I have a deal one damage. So I'm going to put this in my reserve because I don't want to lose it, because you play all your cards, and you can't just not play cards, because the whole point of the game is you're trying to be the killing blow. If you were able to not play cards, then just know what we're playing cards, and you just wait it out. But you have to play all your cards, and you have to do all the damage. So I can do one, 
plus one would be two damage to him because it's fire against earth. I could do three damage, so that would be a total of uh, three, four, five damage to this guy. So that's going to do to the Mungus is five damage. Then I have this that can do one damage, which would be two damage to Smolder Hog because it's earth against, uh, excuse me, no, it's earth against water is what does that. So just, let me recheck that. So I'll just do another damage to, uh, let's do a damage to the Game Genie and I'll lose the earth card from the game. Um, I know that might not make any sense, but I got a really big deck and I want it to be just cool cards at the end of the game. So that's it for my turn. I'm going to lose two health because I did not kill anything. But I'm going to get a combo point. Oops, not 11. Combo point. So I have now 12 health and a combo point. Now I draw four cards and don't forget I have my reserve card over here. So I've got remove a basic attack spell in your hand from the game if you do draw a card and deal one damage. So that's interesting to know. I have a shadow one damage. I have the flood, which is three, and I have a draw a card as well. Um, so I'm going to use this card to remove a basic attack spell from your hand from the game. So I'm going to remove the shadow from the game. If you do, draw a card and deal one damage. So I'm going to draw a card and deal one damage, but it's going to be two because it's a fire card to the Mungus. Then, so I've done that card. Then I have the fire basic of one damage here. I will do that to the Game Genie and lose the fire basic card. Then I have draw a card, so I will draw a card. Hey, it's a water card. That's cool. I'm happy about the water card there. The water card means that I play the water card, I'm going to play another water card, and then I'll be able to do this, which would be three damage to each monster. Now, the only problem with that is I'm going to lose it because I'm doing it to each monster, and that's going to go out um, because of him. So I might choose not to do that, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. So let's see what we have. I have one plus three is four damage that I can do, which would not be enough to kill that, which means I would take another thing. Um, but that would actually give me more combo points, would actually take it out with combo points might be better so I don't lose any cards. Let's do that. So that's going to be four damage to him, but I'm going to take two damage, but I get another combo point. So now I'm at two combo points. I think that's what I'm going to do because I don't want to um, lose my cool cards for, to him. Now, remember that I have to do all the cards. Now, I don't have to choose the bottom if I even if I could do it. I just have to use all the cards. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So that's one, two, three, four. Draw two cards. Put a card in your hand on top of your deck. So let's go ahead and draw the two cards. So let's use that light card. Draw two cards. And one of these cards on the top of my deck. Remove basic spec attack from your hand. If you do, choose one. Deal four damage or heal player one health. So one of these cards is going to go back on the top of my deck. So I'm going to put um, this fire basic attack back on top of my deck. I am going to use this fire basic attack to kill the Mungus, which I almost posit that they immediately get re-put out there. So then we got now Game Shark, which is six health. Remove any spell that deals damage to Game Shark from the game. So it's basically the exact same as Game Genie. But if I can combo them together, then that means that I'm only removing it once because it's already, you know, that way. Um, I've used that. So I'm going to use this to do one damage to the game genie, which is going to make it four. Then I'm going to remove all basic spell in your hand from the game. If you do, choose one. Deal four damage or heal one health. I think because our reserve card is deal two damage to each monster. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the hibernate. So hibernate is going to happen. It's going to do four damage to this with that discarded card. He gets killed, but I have to remove the hibernate from the game, so it's out. Um, we killed two monsters this turn, so we do get a health back. So we're at 11 now. And now this guy comes out, which is 10 fish. He's a 10 health. Um, regular, no no text. So that's all my cards. I draw it back up. One, two, three, and four. We've got a one, a two, a three, and four out here. So, hmm. so four, five, six, seven. Not quite enough to take him out. I'm going to do all the damage to him because I'm going to take two damage by not killing any monsters this turn. 
But now I have a combo point, which I'm going to use against the, the game shark next turn. Now I can't do it this turn, so I gained it this turn. But I can use it next turn. Now you might be thinking, I'm using fire against water. Does that mean it's less damage? No. You only get the bonus damage when it's the other way around. You don't lose the ability to do damage um, that way. So it doesn't go backwards like that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do on this turn, I'm going to use my combo points and just take out this game shark. So I kill something this turn, so I'm not going to take any more damage. Get a new bad guy out. It is Hot Potato. Defeat. The player that defeats Hot Potato takes two damage. So I'm going to take two damage by killing him anyway. Good thing to keep in mind. I've got the Cook, which is to uh, discard a card. If I do, I get to have one health. I can do deal one damage and draw a card. So let's deal one damage to the Ten Fish. Draw a card. So now I have one, two... Let's do two damage to the ten fish to kill it, which is two monsters this turn, which means I get to heal back up to ten health. Because I got the game shark with my combo and then the ten fish then. Now we have a fox. Firefox. At the end of each turn, if Firefox is below five health, heal it back up. So you want to do a lot of damage to get it done, because if you don't do it all, it's going to be gone. Players may discard a card if they do heal once. So I'm going to discard my light card to heal back up to eleven now. That's my whole turn. Now I can be okay with playing this guy again because I don't have those where I have to lose a card. So I remember I have that reserve card um, before too late. So I've got uh, two, two, and my reserve card. So let's flip the reserve card over to remember we have it. Okay, so I can do fire hurts earth, but earth doesn't hurt fire. And these are all fire. And drain is a shadow, which doesn't help at all. And it's two damage to each monster. Heal each player... One if does if it defeats a monster. So I can do two damage to hot potato, drain, which does enough to kill it, two damage, two damage, and it killed it, so then that means I get to heal a pl uh, one health. Now I'm gonna take um, two because I, so I was at 11, go up to 12, now I take two because the hot potato does two damage. I have two more here. If it's below five, I'm gonna make it five with doing these two more damage. Oh, I need a new card out. Shadow Beast. So let's put its health out and look at it. Nothing there, just got some flavor tech. Generations of our top, uh, top scholars were unable to bring the light, to light the source of the this menacing beast power. So it's just a shadow puppet, which is kind of funny. So now I've used my reserve card, so that means I don't have a reserve card. Now I'm gonna to have to shuffle. So I'm gonna have one card there. And we're going to set the camera down really quickly and shuffle. Now I killed... Yeah, I did kill something. I killed the hot potato last game, last round, so I did take, didn't have to take the two damage or anything. So you're starting to see how the game works. It's a deck building game where you have pre-built your deck at the beginning and then you use the de deck that you built as the game goes. So I like the fact, because a lot of times when you're playing a deck building game, those first five, six rounds, Everyone's doing the same thing. You're buying cards, you're buying cards, you're not able to do anything, you got crappy cards, you're buying cards, whatever. And you're having to attack stuff or defend yourself against stuff, but you have any, you don't have any good cards. You haven't been able to buy anything yet. In this game, the first turn, you've got all the cards that you're going to be having. So hopefully, if you've done well buying them, you've got a good amount of cool cards to go with. So that's one of the things I like about this game is you start off feeling powerful. And I, wave, I like the way the auctions work because it's a bidding for drafting order, which is kind of cool. Anyway, back to the game. So I've got uh, this, I could do, I could hold on to see if I get any more cards and get blue cards. I need to get three to do that. So I might hold on to it. Remove a basic spell in your hand from the game. If you do draw a card, deal on damage. So let's do that. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna get three of these. So let's draw a card. Hey, we got a red card. Then let's do, um, remove a basic spell in your hand from the game. If you do draw a card, deal on damage. So we're gonna do, um, Get rid of the Earth card. Draw a card. And I have to deal one damage. So I'm going to deal the one damage to the Firefox. Because we want to get him all this turn, hopefully. I've played two reds. I'll play a third red, so do another damage to it. And now I can do four damage, because I have played Synergy. And I'll take out the Firefox. Now again, I have excess damage, but that excess damage can't go to anything. That's not how it works. You don't get to do that. So. Now we've got Pandit. The Pandit's kind of crappy. It's 10 health because attack. Discard a card every time you deal damage to Pandit. So he has to discard a card 
not the one that you use, a different card every time you damage it. So if you damage it, you have to discard something else. All right, let's go. Let's draw one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, I can do two, four, and then discard two. So I'm going to do four damage to the bandit and then discard the other two because remember, those are uh, fire against... Uh, um, fire against... Earth, sorry. Uh, but I have to take two damage now because I did not kill anything, but I get a combo point. So I'm at eight health and one combo point. But hopefully we can take out this pandit soon. Not the way we're drawing now. Deal two damage to each monster. Each heal each player one health if it defeats the monster. So he's at six. I could get him to five and discard, and that would be enough, not enough to kill it. So we're gonna have to use the water against the smolder hog to do the two damage to it. We'll do two damage to each monster. Now we're not going to get to heal, but we're doing two damage to each monster. So we get that, and then that's going to give us that. We have to discard a card because we did that, so we're just going to discard the light one. We have one more damage we're going to do, so we'll do that one damage to the panda because we don't have anything to discard, so it doesn't hurt us at that point. It's our last card we're playing. But we take two damage because we didn't kill anything that turn uh, again. But we have a combo point, which is also nice. Now we draw back up four. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. Cook. All right. Uh, flood, deal three. But I need two blues, which I'm not going to get. All right. So let's see. Um, I could deal three and just take out the pendant with that. Or I could use the three to become a four. Again, I think I just have to take the panic out. So I'm going to take the three damage, just the panic, and discard the fire basic card. So panic's dead, so I'm not going to take any more damage than of this turn. And we got a wisp, which is seven health, and that's all. And now I've got these two cards. So I can play it, play my discard card if I do get a health. I'm going to just discard a card to get a health. Um, so I'm up to seven. I've got two combo points. I killed something, so I'm okay there. And now it's the next turn. So let's draw four cards. So I've got, I don't have three, but I might since I'm going to draw. So uh, none of these are going to get bonuses for with these, except for this I could get a uh, bonus damage against the Wisp. But let's do deal one damage and draw a card. We'll deal one damage against the Wisp and see if that helps us. And we did not get uh, what I was looking for. I was hoping we'd get another fire card so we could do that, but we didn't get it. Draw two cards, put a card in your hand on top of your deck. So, so these are in my hand right now. I'm going to play this, but that means I have to shuffle. So I'm going to shuffle one more time, hopefully a few more times, because that means I'm doing well and continuing to play. But I know it's a little bit annoying watching me, um, well, not watching me, because I'm not letting you watch me, because it's kind of boring to watch me play or shuffle. But shuffling, shuffling, and hoping that of the two cards, at least one of them is a fire one. And that way I can put the shadow card back because it's still in my hand. And that way we could have the ability to do the shadow thing. So let's draw the two cards. It's a f yes. So um, we'll actually put the earth card on top of the deck. So we played these two cards. We're gonna play a fire basic and a fire basic both against the Wisp. And then we have eight damage we can do. We're gonna do all eight damage to the Shadow Beast and take it out completely. Because it had eight health, which is why I chose it. Unicorn! Lost Unicorn. You take one damage unless you deal at least one damage to the Lost Unicorn on your turn. So now that he's out there, I'm gonna have to do at least one damage. So I'm gonna do a damage to him. So I'll actually do one, which is two because it's a light. So there we go. It's a good thing we had that card left over and hadn't used it yet. Okay, we did a damage. We killed something, so we're all good there. No damage to have to be taken at the end of the turn. Drawing four cards. Okay, we have a fire basic, water basic, earth basic, and drain. Deal two damage to each monster. Heal each player one health if drain kills it. Um, so that would be one, one, two, three. It would be four health, and it would take three damage with drain, which is not enough to kill it. But Drain could also do three damage to this and to this. So let's do one damage. Let's do the Earth damage to the Wisp. 
Let's do a water damage, which is actually two damage to the smolder hog. Um, we'll hold on to the fire basic for now. We'll do three damage to each of those and two damage to him. So that takes that out, which means it killed a monster, so I get a health back. But we get a new monster out, which is the Piclar, Piclar um, which is going to have that attack. You take one damage, you time you damage Piclar. So I'm not going to do damage to him now because I want to take a damage for it. So this fire damage is actually going to go against the Lost Unicorn. All right, so we did kill something. We're okay there. We're still alive. We're doing good. We have, oops, discard that. Let's draw back up. Okay. Uh, remove a basic attack spell on your hand from the game. If you do, draw a card, deal one damage. So we're going to do that. We're going to get rid of this earth card. So we got a fire card. So that's great. So that means we played a fire card. I'm going to play another fire card, which is going to do one damage to the lost unicorn. We're going to do the light basic attack against the lost unicorn and kill it. So the lost unicorn is gone. And we played a red and a red. So this is going to do four damage. Plus one, which is five, which takes out the Piccolor. Which I take one damage each time I hit damage it, which I damaged it in one full swoop. So that's dead. I take a damage, but I killed two monsters on my turn. Actually, I need to replace this other one. Since I killed two monsters on this turn, I should get the health back. I'll tell you what, I was re what they were replaced with in just a second. So I'm not going to take any damage, basically, because I healed one and took a damage. So um, first of all, we've got the Dragonfly which is a 14 health, but that's all he's got on him. And then we've got the Enchanted Armor, which is attack. Each spell other than Shadow Spells can deal at most one damage to Enchanted Armor. So it can only take one damage unless it's Shadow. Um, so that's important to know. All right, so we're good there. The Picloir didn't really do anything to us because we took a damage, but we healed because we killed two things. Let's draw back up. We've got Flood, Cook, Shower. And a fire basic. So flood again is three damage. Shower draws a card. Players discard a card if they do heal one health. So let's just do shower, draw a card. It's a blue card. That's great because then we're going to be able to do a synergy to get three damage to each monster on that. Um, and that's good also because let's do one, which is actually two damage to Smolder Hog because it's a fire and that's a water card. Then we're going to do three damage. And to two of these, they're each going to get four damage, actually. So while Smolder Hog is dead, and this guy takes four damage because he's a fire card. But we get a new monster out. It's Kappa. So we got to put... So it's a, basically it's just a water with 11 health. Um, nothing else there. And now we have the Cook. And I don't necessarily want to do anything else. So let's just discard this to heal one from the Cook. So really... Um, I got lucky by getting these healing cards as a part of my my deck to start with. Now I chose them obviously when they came out. I need to shuffle again. But that's something to keep in mind when you're playing this game yourself. That if you're playing it solo or cooperatively, healing is very important. But recall as well that that cook card lets every player discard a card to get a health. So if you're playing that as a free-for-all, which is another way to play the game, you might be actually helping other players by having that card. Now, of course, they're going to be discarding a card before their turn starts. So they only have, are only going to have three cards to play on their turn. You would have chosen on your turn to discard a card. So it's a little bit more advantageous to you because you kind of know what's happening on your turn. Um, but for them, it's a little different. So uh, keep that in mind, but healing is, is a way to prolong the game. So if you're already winning and have a lot of points, you might want everyone to hurry up and die so that way you win because even in death, you can be victorious in this game. So I've drawn my cards. It's three basic fires and one basic light. Uh, no bonuses at all in this one. So I've got four damage I can do. Um, I'm going to be taking a, uh, a health, two health damage and getting a combo point. So why don't we... Deal all four damage to the fly. So I'll get a combo point, so I'll have three combo points, which I will use probably to take out that enchanted armor, which is going to give me some, some fits here soon. So let's take the two. So we're at seven health and, two, and three combo points now. Hey, it's our cook card again. And flood, etc. So, okay, so let's just use our combo to take out the enchanted armor. Because that was going to be one of those that was just going to take a long time to get rid of. I just want to get rid of it now, and let's see what we get. We get a Spectre, which is 12. So we took out a monster, so we don't have to take any damage or anything else this turn. So that's good. Then 3, 
four, so that's three, plus one is four because of the bonus, because they're water. And then two, so now the dragonfly is dead, which means two monsters on this turn, which means a health back, so I'm at eight health. Then I can discard and heal up, so I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna heal back up, and now I'm at nine. So all that to kind of keep the game progressing for myself. And actually, before I do that, I need to see what monster would have come out. Okay, we're fine, it's nothing that would have had any text that would have mattered. It's just a nine health mandrake. All right, draw four cards. Uh, basic, basic, basic. And guy, draw two cards, put one on top of your deck. So let's just go ahead and do that. Draw two. Um, the fires can all do extra damage to the Mandrake. The earth can do extra damage to the Kappa, but this can't do anything, so I'm just going to put it on top of the deck. So I can do two, four, six damage to the Mandrake. And two damage to the Kappa, which means I did not kill anything this turn, which means I take two damage back down to seven, but I get a combo point. So again, um, I'm able to keep this game going because I'm healing myself. If I hadn't been healing myself, I've been taking a lot of damage and being really bad. So healing is very important in the this, in this solo co-op game. I mean, it makes sense it is, but just to keep that in mind, it, it really is important. So let's draw a card with Shower, Shadow card. Um, let's deal one damage and draw a card. So actually, I should do the two damage to the Mandrake because of the fire um, bonus against Earth cards. So let's draw the card. We got deal two damage to each monster, heal each player one if, if something gets killed, which that would be good to do because we're going to be killing that if we do two damage to it. So let's do it now. So two, two, dead. I get a health back because I killed something with that card. So I'm going to eight. Let's get a new monster out here. We've got a nine health. Bulbling, which is a light monster, of course. Uh, wizards are a real turnoff. That's funny. Okay, so I have four damage I can do with that. Five, six. Uh, this will actually do two damage to the, the Bulbling, so let's do two damage to the Bulbling with the Shadow against Light. And five damage. Let's spread it around a little bit. Let's do five damage on the Spectre. So I don't know if I'm going to draw anything that's going to help me against Spectre in a while. So draw one, draw two, I gotta shuffle again. So one of the things that I'm having to do now is shuffle a lot because I have such a lean deck, a small deck size, which in a deck builder game is good if you have good cards that you're pulling. So by getting rid of a lot of my cards early in the game, I'm doing okay with, with that idea. The problem is for the people viewing this and watching it now, you're having to listen to me talk while I shuffle. Um, which can be annoying, I'm sure. But now we've done that, here we go. Now we've got a burn, which is to remove basic attack spell in your hand from the game if you do draw a card. Um, we have deal two damage to each monster, heal if, yeah, so that's cool that that just came back out again, that's nice. Which is also a benefit of shuffling because that means I can get cool stuff again. Remove basic spell in your hand if you do, draw, so I'm gonna get rid of this shadow card. Draw a card and deal one damage. And that damage is gonna be one damage to the Bulbling, I think. One, two, three, four, five. No, it'll be against. Yeah, it'll be against the bulbling. So, the one damage there. Then I'll do one damage to the bulbling with my water card. Then I will do two damage to the bulbling, so it has three. Deal two damage to each monster. This is a shadow against the light, so it actually does a bonus damage. So that's the damage that'll kill the bulbling. Which is why I did that, which means I get to heal the health because I killed something. And we also do two damage to the Spectre and the Kappa. And now we have a Nightmare, which is a 15 health, but thankfully no text. Um, the text cards are worse than the ones that have a lot of health. They just are. I mean, frankly, the ones without text are pretty much pushovers as long as you can kind of time your attacks to get them done in a good order. We've got four basic fire attacks. So three of them are gonna to go to the Spectre to kill it, obviously. Now the question is, do I reserve one of them or do I not? And I think I'll just go ahead and do two damage to the Great Sage, so he's only gonna get 13 to start with, because remember the bonus, fire against Earth. And that's it, so that's that. Draw four more cards, that was pretty simple. I did kill something that turn, so no damage had to be taken. We've got deal one damage, draw a card. Draw two cards, but of course, let's do this one first. Draw a card, two cards, and put one back on top of your deck. So let's do 
the cook back on top because we're going to deal one damage and draw a card. We'll do that to the um, sage, which is actually two damage because of the bonus. Let me just draw a card. So we know we're drawing the cook card, of course. Let's draw a card with sh shower. Shower. Uh, <laughs> um, we've got that. So we can heal if we want, but we don't necessarily have to heal this turn because so we can do two, four, um, seven damage, which is not enough to kill that. Or we can just do the five and kill Kappa. Let's do the five. So one, two, three, four, five, because it's a three damage. And that's five kills Kappa. We don't take a damage, not getting any combos, of course, but we don't take a damage. And now we have a whole bunch of, of high level or a high uh, HP stuff out. So that's actually at 15, which I don't have enough cubes. I only have 14. Um, so keep that in mind that that's got one extra damage. Um, the cook I can't use because I don't have any extra cards in my hand. So that's all right. So actually, since I can't use the cook, I'm going to put the cook in the reserve. Smart me, remembering the reserve. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, basic, 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 and of course the cook that I can use. I need to do, so that would be five, six, seven damage to the sage, which would leave it at four, which I don't have enough to kill it. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill anything this turn, so let's just do it this way. Let's do two damage to the Nightmare, which is going to go one of them there because now it's actually at the 15. We're going to discard the Earth card to get a health back from the Cook, and we'll do two damage to the Great Sage, and then five damage. So five, and then two, so that's actually going to make it four. So it's a four with that thing on it. So it's a four. Um, if you ever run into this where you don't have enough little cubes, that's fine. Just, just keep track of it yourself. I do lose two health. So I didn't kill anything this turn, but I have a combo point. So now I am at, um, let's see this, eight health and two combo points. But I have to shuffle again. And we've only got a few monsters left. So I think we're going to win. Now remember, I was playing this on um, casual, which means that I have 14 health rather than the regular 12. I never got below five, I don't think. So unless I do towards the end of the game, I think I could have easily won on standard. Um, as far as hardcore goes, you only have eight health, which I don't know if I could have won with that. But the healing cards have definitely been the reason I've been doing well. But let's not count our chickens before they hatch and see if we can keep playing. So, we've drawn our four cards. We've got Cook again, which is nice. Um, we also got our flame blot again. Uh, let's see. I think we're going to hold on to drain and reserve because it's going to do two damage. But I'm actually going to be killing the uh, great sage with that. And I don't necessarily want to do that um, and overkill something. So I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to do the four damage. It's actually five, but you know, he's dead anyway. So I'm killing a monster this turn. This guy needs 13, so I actually need one more for him. Ongoing, you can't play spells targeting King Crab while another water monster is revealed. So right now it's okay because we don't have the other water monsters, but if there's other water monsters, you got to go after them first. I'm going to discard the water basic attack to do the health back for the cook. And I held on to my other card there. So that's it. I did kill something this turn, so no damage taken. Draw two cards and put a card in your hand on top of your deck. Let's put the, uh, I guess it doesn't matter because I'll be drawing a card anyway. Let's um, put the light card back. Draw a card, do one damage. The damage I'm going to do to, the nightmare, I guess. I have another damage and another two damage, so two, and he's actually got um, nine health right now. Now he'll have eight, so that's fine there. Three more damage, um, so now he's got five, and it's not worth me playing my drain because it's not going to do enough to kill it. So that's all for that. I do take two damage because I didn't have that, but now I have a combo, so I'm at seven and three. Okay, remove a basic attack spell from the game. If you do, draw a card, deal one damage. Or do that. Um, let's get rid of the Earth basic attack card. 
um, draw a card and deal one damage. So I'm going to draw a card and deal one damage. The one damage I'm going to do to the uh, Nightmare. So he's going to have four. So he's actually going to be like that. That's four. Uh, then I'll do two more to him with that. So he's only at two. And now I'm going to play for my reserve. Deal two damage to each monster. Heal each player one if they defeat a monster. So I do. do so I'm going to go up to eight. And I have three combo points still. So that... That dead. And this one has 15. Wow. Leviathan. 15 health, big monster dude. Okay. And I may have gotten a little confused with some of the damage that's there just because of I didn't have enough cubes, but hopefully that's not that big a deal. Um, I mean, we'll see. Uh, one, two, so two more damage. Let's do the two damage to. Cannot play spells targeting King Crab with another water monster, so might as well do the water monster damage, or the water damage to the Leviathan. I did kill something that turn, so I don't have to take any damage. I do have my combo still. Which I might end up having to use. Alright, I've got four basic attack spells here. Let's use the combo and take out the Mountain Guru, who has all that health that I'm just not doing any damage to right now. And we're almost there. A mosquito. Ongoing. Players cannot heal while it's revealed. So I can't heal while it's out there. But I have one, two, three, four damage that I can do. I'll do all that damage to the mosquito. Because um, it's a shadow, not a water. In case you were confused by the coloring. All right, got to shuffle again. Hopefully the next to last time. I'll probably have to shuffle uh, two more times. If I do well, at least. I did kill the Mountain Guru that time with the Tombow, so I don't have to take any damage for that. I'm still at 8 health. I now have 0 combo points, which means I probably won't get any more combo points for the game. Um, but we'll see if that changes. Alright, sorry about the shaking about there. Alright, drawing back up. 1, 2, 3, 4 cards. Uh, draw 2 cards. Put a card in your hand on top of your deck. So let's draw the 2. And let's put that one on top. Okay, so we've got. All right, so we can take out the mosquito with the four damage there. So let's do that. Let's take the mosquito out completely. So he's just gone. And furnace monster has ten health. Now the one question I have, and I'm not really sure the rules cover. This says ongoing. If a player defeats a monster, they heal one life. But I think it's only when it's actually out, because it's not out yet, it's still in the deck. So I'm not going to count that yet. But if that's wrong, then please let me know in the, in the comments. Shadows, draw a card. Hey, it's that flame card that I already have. Um, then I'll play one, two against the Leviathan, because I can't do the King Crab. And I have three damage, but it'll be four if I do it against the Furnace, because he's a um, fire and I'm doing water damage to him. Right. And then draw four. One, two, three, four. Uh, players may discard a card. They do heal. Okay, but you know the cook card. Remove a basic spell from your hand if you do draw a card and deal damage. But I can actually do that other way. So let's cook, discard, get a health. So I'm at nine. Two damage to this guy. So he's at nine now remove basic attacks non-basic spell in your hand or discard from the game because i've played two reds so i'm going to take out it'll just be that that water one that i did a minute ago um draw two cards and deal two damage so i'm going to draw two cards and deal two damage now i get to deal all damage and draw a card let's do another damage and i drew a water attack here so i'll do two damage to the furnace monster now, I did not defeat anything that turn, so I do have to take two damage, but I did heal before that. So I have a combo point, oops, and seven health. One, two, three, all these fire cards. Gotta start getting rid of fire cards. One, two, three, four, and um, let's just do all of them to the Leviathan. Again, I didn't kill anything this turn. I'm down to five health. And one and two combo points. So now I'm getting close to where I would not have won on the standard if I'm not lucky here in a second. So shuffling again. So I got to shuffle because I'm not 
I don't have any cards. Basically, all of my cards now are the, the nine ones that I got that are good, that are the non-basics, and a bunch of fire ones, and I think like one or two um, non-fire basic attacks. So I've got like, I think a light one and a water one maybe. I don't even know. Um, but we'll we'll see what they come up as. And I hope I can get rid of them, because that would be great if I can just get the regular cards. All right, so we've got Drain. Deal two damage to each monster. Um, okay. So let's do two damage to the fire monster with the water card. One damage to the fire monster with the light basic. Drain, which will do two and two. It says... You cannot. You can't play spells targeting King Crab while another water monster is revealed. Um, it's not targeting it. It's just to each monster. So I think I can still do that. So that does the damage to that, and I also get one health back because I did kill something. Now I don't get more than one health back when I kill something if I kill more than one. But I am going to get one because I killed two monsters this turn. Um, now I'm going to do one damage to the Dungeon uh, Lord. So he's going to come out at 31 health. So that's um, let's say that's. 31 at this point, and we'll just do that better when it comes around. So, and I get a health back because I guess, like I said, I killed two monsters. So now it's seven, and two combo points. And if you defeat a monster while he's revealed, I actually get a health. So, one, two, three, four, I'm going to do four damage all to the king crab, but I have to take a two damage because I didn't kill anything that turn. So I'm at five health again. So that's a bad draw of, of four basic cards. But I do have three combo points. So now, draw two cards. Put one back on top. Let's put the fire base on top. Yeah. Draw a card with the shower. And I can do four damage, which will kill the king crab, which will give me one health because of the dungeon lord's ability. So I'm at six, one, and now I can get that. So it's four, five, plus three is eight. So we're counting those as, as 10 right now just because it's easier to do it that way with less cubes. I did kill something, so I'm okay there. I still have my three combo points, so I'm gonna do four cards. And now I'm gonna go ahead and use my, my combo to draw four more cards. So it means I have to shuffle one last time, hopefully last time. Because if, if I don't use my combo points, they just get wasted. There's no point in them. Um, I might as well use them now to draw the cards because he's also not an elemental. I can't use it just to outright kill him. So then I'm drawing them. I four more cards. So I got a bunch of cards to talk about right now. So I've got one, two, three basic fires. Two of those, a cook, a light, and that. So let's first start with the guide. Just draw two cards and put one back on top of my deck. So let's put the water one back on top of the deck. Remove a basic attack spell from your hand in the game. If you do, draw a card, deal one damage. So I'm going to get rid of the basic attack light, draw a card, and deal one damage to the dungeon lord. So I've played that. You may discard a card. If you do, heal one health. So I'm going to discard the water card that I just drew with the cook. So I'm at seven health, just to be sure. Um, I've played, so I'm going to play spark to deal one damage to him and draw a card. I'm going to have one, two, three, four. So he'll be, it'll be four, and then that. So that's eight damage that I'm doing. So now he's at 13. I didn't kill anything, so I take two damage and get a combo point. So I'm at five health and one combo point. And let's see if I can defeat him this turn. If I can't, then I'll be at three health, which would have been still standard game, I would have been okay. So let's do this. So let's draw a card with a shower. And I've got deal two damage to each monster, so I just do the two damage there. I've got three more damage, so he's gonna be at, um, that'll be, so now he's at eight, four damage, and then one damage. So he's at three health. I'm also at three health with two combo points. If I can do three damage next turn, I win, which as long as I don't draw a bunch of cards like Cook, I will have at least three attack cards. So I have two. I have to shuffle my last time, so of course I've got to shuffle again and hope that I don't get my non-damage dealing cards. I don't think I have 
very many that don't also let me draw. So I should be okay, but you never know. All right, let's see what I get. One, <laughs> remove basic and deal damage. Okay, so remove basic attack and draw, deal with damage and draw a card. So let's get rid of that. Fire one, deal with damage, draw a card. Hey, let's do a damage, draw a card. Let's discard a card and heal. So we're at four. Then let's do that, which means we're going to heal and kill it. So we killed it. So end of the game with five health, two combo points. We won. We were victorious. We beat the monster. We beat the, all the stuff, which then, of course, you could potentially be opening the packs, etc. I, I mean, I know I kind of played this kind of boom, 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 boom fast, but I really do like this game. This is a very quick game to play. It's longer in the solo because I was talking through everything, um, but really it's it's longer because you're playing against all the bad guys. But really, it's a very fast game. When we played it with multiple people, three and four players, it's been half an hour, maybe 45 minutes, and that's what's explaining the rules most of the time. I really like this game. I like the solo. I didn't think I was going to like the solo as much as I did, but I really do like the solo as well. Um, I really think this is a fun game. I like the fact that there's multiple versions of the game because it might give you a little bit of variety of the different cards that can be there and stuff like that. I really am glad that I got my hands on this. Thank you to Pixel Glory for sending it to me. Or excuse me, to Zafty just sending it to me. Uh, really like Pixel Glory. Um, I hope that you pick it up. Um, it's going to be 25 bucks at retail. Um, and it's going to be available on May 16th. I think I'll be posting this maybe a day or two before the 16th. So you'll know to get it. Um, but definitely go out and find this game. And then obviously, you know, have a friend if they are. And so inclined to get the other version so you can trade some cards and do that. But uh, this is a good, this is a really fun, very quick game. I really, the mechanic of starting the game off in the town and just building your deck, and that's all you do at the beginning, and then playing with that deck at the end is a great twist on the deck builder for me. I really like that because the, the boring thing that happens to me in a deck builder is you're trying to fight stuff, but you're also having to buy stuff. So you're having to like, oh, do I buy, do I fight, what do I do? And they have one player that just gets a good draw and you, you, you lose. This is much more on... There's two sides of the game. The beginning of the game is very, very strategic. You gotta have to figure out what cards you want to get, the right balance, everything else. And the second half of the game is you gotta be doing the killing blows. You gotta make sure you time everything right and take damage when it's okay to take damage and do damage when it's right to do damage. Very, very cool game. Very interesting mechanics, and I really do like it. So Pixel Glory, Light, and Shadow. You should pick up a copy.